Hey guys, I went to two game days and won two of these. I actually have a very interesting story about the two other ones I was going to trade for, but I'll tell you that story. Essentially, uh, trade value, they were asking for $37 a piece on this, and that's crazy because if you go on game day, you top eight, apparently their trade value is close to $40. And now, Talk about that a little later and to tell you guys not to trade. It was a really tough decision not to complete my playset, but at $75 to trade of modern staples essentially, modern and standard staples, I said no. And that was extremely difficult to do because now I have to go ahead and try to get two more of them. So I'm going to show you guys the deck I played with at game day. It did extremely well. I top eight both times consistently. It's not a bad deck. Storm Breath, very good dragon. You should get four of these dragons. Thunderbreak Regent is that good. Stoke. Now Hall of Triumph. So essentially what people are doing with these goblins is they are circle of flaming them or arc lightning. There's so much hate against mono red right now. Mono red is the cheapest deck to build and it's also the most common deck. So yeah, I did upgrade to the foil outburst since I will be using it for a while. Cannot, will be very sad when these rotate out. The goblin rabble masters, lightning strikes, uh, dragon fodder, lightning berserker, one Zergo. I would play more of him, but I hate getting him stuck in a hand. Uh, Wild Slash. And Swift Spear, or Taylor Swift as I call it. Now land, a lot of you have trouble understanding why I have fetch lands. Uh, it's because this deck will lose if you have too much land. Uh, if you have too much land, it means you're not drawing action cards. So you have 14 regular mountains and... 8 fetch lands. So many of the games I play today, I just got mana flooded and that's how I lose. Now, the fetch lands help that because you don't need more than 4. I mean, Storm Breath Dragon is the only one at more than 4 and at that point, you actually don't want to play Storm Breath because that meant that you didn't kill them fast enough. Anyway, that's the main deck. Uh, Wendy is my sideboard because we are dragons. Card is a boss against control. They cannot kill this card. They can bio blight it and then you just flip it up, deal some damage, attack with it. They can heroes downfall it. They can try to kill it in like so many different ways. They can drown it, but then you just flip it right back up. So late game, this is a beating, but pretty much it's not like the best card. Again, the Hall of Triumph, this card is fantastic. Like what I mean fantastic. I mean, this is one of the best cards you can have against your deck because it nullifies the hate if they, if they are playing Circle of Flames. You don't really care about the defense since they're not going to block it anyway, but this will give you the attack power. I played the Trumpet of Horde, and that's plus 2, plus 0 oh until end of turn. This card is in every aspect better, uh, minus the fact that you cannot stack multiples of it, but if you're an aggro deck, you you need to draw this card after the first game just they will have a tremendous amount of hatred or hate for your card for mono red decks to Shulkons this should be roast again I don't have roast so uh, one roast bloods and outpost uh, the outpost not really that good in this deck I see some decks playing four of them but I don't want to be drawing cards because that means I'm pretty much losing if I'm going to spend my turn four drawing like extra cards. And I don't want to be doing like minimal amounts of damages. Like as a turn four, I would much rather have a creature, uh, either the dragon or the phoenix. The phoenix is pretty good. I, I, in many cases, the phoenix, especially against control, needs two removal spells back to back. And if you have six open, they just cannot kill it. Because boop, come comes a 4-1, take 2 damage, we both take 2 damage, and then it flips up. So the Phoenix is very good, I might, I have to look into getting 2 more, uh, 2 more Phoenixes, 2 more Dragons, and this is a very good deck, I've top 8 
both uh, game days I went to. And that's it. Bye, guys.